please spend some second subscribe to my channel share with others and give me a like hello guys today we will go through a introduction video about home automation smart home in my home actually i can't make a super long video talk about everything so i decided to give you an overall okay introduction on the overall with the important uh, devices important module and then uh, in the future video i will zoom into each of them one by one i would like to show you this is a, a amazon eco dot speaker i have about i have quite a few in my living room i used to connect them together to play spotify one of them is about 150 ringgit you can use it without programming but the setup it will take some video to show you Give me some some time to plan okay uh, i can use the speaker to control the turn on and turn off the light that you can see in the ceiling alexa turn on lamp zero so it is on now okay we can always ask her to turn off alexa turn off lamp zero So lamp zero is a name I define. Okay, it's a lousy name. I just define when I start installing it. Quite some time ago. Now when uh, Amazon speaker, let's say four or five speakers are playing music, I don't want to disturb the playing music process. I can use Siri. Hey Siri, turn on lamp zero. Okay, the lamp zero is on. So it works. Uh, Everything linked together, Internet of Thing. Hey Siri, turn off lamp zero. Okay, the lamp zero is off. So alternatively, uh, we can use Telegram. In in, uh, in order to use Telegram, you need some uh, knowledge of programming. Okay, uh, you can see the link in the description below or the link on the right top corner of the YouTube video. My previous uh, YouTube video, how to install some software and do some coding to program Telegram, create a bot and program to control the bot. In this case, this is uh, one of the Telegram bot. Okay, I created the keyboards in the Telegram bot. Uh, everybody can create the same after, but you need to learn through uh, uh, some of my video in future. The first one is coming soon. I can turn on the lamp zero here. Yeah, I actually place off. Eh? Yeah, you are right. This is off. Turn on lamp zero here. Yeah, it's on. Okay, I can off it. Okay, so uh, it can be used the same. It all connected together. Okay, uh, the purpose we still use the telegram is uh, it provide an alternative connection just in case some services or voice services is not working fine okay and then uh, people like me and like many of you are using telegram for teaching and learning purposes we can directly type in the windows uh, or, or computer version of telegram while typing just switch and make control done most important i can share i can create a group with people that I want to share in the group together with the Telegram bot so that I can I allow them to control the uh, home automation as well without ask them to install additional software or make additional settings. So this is the one of the advantage. Actually, eventually the purpose is as an example to learn how to create an intelligent AI bot for others uh, application. Okay. So other sorry. than control the device on and off, uh, there are sensor feedback. Okay, if you are lazy to use voice, just use automation, meaning that the sensor, the timer, or multiple sensor, multiple timer work together, such as uh, this is a, a rain sensor or water sensor, this is a motion sensor, this is a, a door sensor. Okay. And there are temperature sensor, pressure sensor, and so on and so on. Okay, to make an automation, it is not difficult. 
if you work in the Apple system, it will be quite easy. But if you work in the, you can program it in the Raspberry Pi as well. For example, this is a door sensor. If the door is open, the light turn on. Yeah, it's straightforward. If the door close back, the light turn off. Okay. In in Apple, this may not require programming. But when uh, too much complicated, many sensor, not just one sensor, not just single input, single output, multiple input, multiple output, then programming may be needed. Okay, that will be uh, my future video. Today, just introduction. Other than smart switches and the sensor, there are other device I would like to have. Let you have a quick look. This is a radio frequency bridge. It can receive a radio frequency input, for example, from sensor and it can generate radio frequency output okay for example uh, i use use it almost every day our uh, rem remote control for the auto gate it can replace the manual remote control and we can use voice or use sensor use timer use any other automation to turn to open our auto gate and close our auto gate this is a two-in-one infrared uh, remote controller it may use to replace the air conditioner controller, TV controller, as well as the uh, Astro controller. Yeah, we just have to do some programming so that uh, programming in a way, programming in a way so that uh, with this device, you will control fan, you will control TV, control aircon, eh? aircon, infrared universal controller. Meanwhile, this guy also capable of generate radio frequency output. However, it cannot uh, receive radio frequency input. Finally, the most important elements in the a smart home is a, a server. This is a Raspberry Pi, about two hundred ringgit. This is a three B. I have another one four B. This is a little bit cheaper, less than two hundred ringgit. We need to pro uh, to to set up and to program. It take many videos for me to explain to you. That's why uh, you will see in my playlist of the Google uh, YouTube channel as well as apparently I will use Windows programming only. Okay, it will work as a Windows, but to, for a long term solution, you need a Raspberry Pi. Let me plan and to introduce to you one by one. It will take many videos just to talk about Raspberry Pi. As always, Thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.